Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is Paris. We're playing more Graveyard Keeper today. Um, if this is your first time here, you should consider subscribing, liking. Um, it's just a random playthrough. That's all. Um, this is just how I play. No min maxing. No none of that. Um, in the last episode, I said that I was gonna put these church benches up, and I'm gonna put these church benches up. I have enough. I think I only need four, so let me tear these down. Two, three, four. And then my church quality will be at... should be over 50. And we will get snake this time. As soon as we get done with this. One, two, three, four. Oh, Joe. Joe just gonna do it. I think I need to walk around with my face. Not so bad. Oh, I don't remember what else do I need. Clean up those clotheslines. I think it's sticks. Do I have any sticks down there that I just randomly threw in there? Hi. We'll give Snake this sword. But you can do his ritual. Okay. There's the sword, so now he's at 70. It's a nice sword, I know. I bought it. And your timing is perfect, just kidding. I've been following you for a while. And yes, I'm aware you have the sword. These are my followers. They've gathered here to behold my power. Is that real blood? This place looks scary. I'm not so sure this was a good idea. Yeah, I think you might be right. Uh, um, so I need to kill you with this sword, and then you shall return to life once more. Wow, how'd Snake do it? He must be so powerful. We should worship him. Blah, blah, blah. I disagree. Boo. Behold my power over life and death. They are merely words to me. Follow me and be immortal. No! Oh, why? <laughs> I need to get back to Snake. The name of this episode is going to be I Don't Like Snake. I still don't have no freaking water. Oh yeah, let's go. I gotta go back up to Snake. I literally just said that. <laughs> and that is why they lied you. But I will never lie you. After the dark ritual, our glorious conquest will commence. There he is, he's alive, he's immortal. Behold, my first disciple. I'll go back home and wait for my orders. My life will never be the same. I won't either. Hey, old snake. Do we still need to go to church? <laughs> you come to my church. He's right, this town needs a change. I really like, it was so dramatic. Are we done here? Sure, I just need a little more time for final preparations, but I'm your man. Ask about the Keeper's book. Snake, could you please tell me you know about the Keeper's book? Why is everyone so interested in a book all of a sudden? Fine, listen. The times of the third Keeper, stories of his talent spread far and wide. The black market folks were especially interested in his achievements. And his sole apparatus thingy was no exception. After the third Keeper left, an offer was made to sell his book. The seller wanted to remain anonymous, so the deal was arranged in one of the dungeon's darkest rooms. According to the stories of the people who took part in that deal, their eyes almost fell out, metaphorically speaking, of course. 
It's a sight of a jumping silhouette. To this day, nobody knows who it was. This thing jumped up on the box, left the book, and said said that it contained everything apart from personal information. Took the money and jumped away. So that's where you got your alcohol money from? Hey, Jerry. So what's with the book? What's with the book? It turned out to be completely useless. It was incomplete, missing blueprints of the key mechanisms. That's why nobody could use it. That book would still be collecting dust in a storage room if it weren't for some crazy men with burning eyes. Desperately trying to find it. I agreed to sell it to him for an enormous amount of money just as a joke. You know what? He bought it. Sounds like Jerry might know something about the missing part. What well, doubtful he knows anything. His memory is what it is. I wonder how it's even connected. I did help Snake with his ritual. Did the skulls on the wall, the crucifixion skulls, Did I not help Snake with his ritual? Okay. We're just gonna... Go to the Talking Skull. Get my money. Uh... Put these onion rings. Beer on this palette. Give him the give him this. I don't remember which one was supposed to go. I'm not gonna read this. Okay, yes I am. I think that's Dave. Rest in peace, our deceased friend. The road now leads over the ancient bridge and into the land of the dead. Oh, donkey. Let's go divide up the inheritance. It's so annoying when they die on a weekend. Papa, what a surprise. Tea, coffee, a little mead with pepper. Aww. No, no. Once was enough. Dingus, our goddess vision has sent me a vision. I saw fire, bloodstained blades, and corpses. Oh, and the ancient portal. A vision? Oh, oh, I warned you. Your experiments with mushrooms could be. I need the keys to the portal, funny man, right now. Sorry, the ancient god forbids me from giving them to anyone. Perhaps a sweet cupcake would suffice. I had a vision. Diggis. He wants us to use the portal. Don't shout, Cloth, though. It's not healthy for people who are a thousand years old. Listen, aren't you afraid of poor Haradric, your adopted son? I'm afraid that's why I can't give you the keys. The portal is unpredictable and dangerous. You have a cup, Kate, instead of a brain, you old fool. Guess she told him. Um, I remember that place. That's where the keeper dug me up. He was looking for spare bones for a zombie. I woke up and couldn't remember anything, but I wanted beer. That keeper named me Gary. Yay, I did it. Yeah, I did. I think you're the first person that farmer ever let in. <laughs> In the forward march. Let's like march. I'm in, men. Cool, Cresvold. Oh, Roderick, what about you? I'm not sure, Hove. This uh, this case it smells bad. Who's Hove? Jove. Oh, I'll call, call him Jove. The chamber pots we empty for the priest smell bad, and. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're a tough warrior, but you just stand there like a statue and drive away the priestess' drunken fans. That's it. I've already forgotten where to put a helmet on. Uh, the ancient god's will, Jove. And let our strong-willed ancient god empty his priestess' 
chamber pots himself. We don't need him, Haradri. We can provide food and water ourselves. Am I right, Lucius? Sure, and I want to pick my own woman. Have you seen the cow he chose for me? We never imagined it anyway. Degas will never give us the keys to the border. Two, you just have to steal them. Oh, my father, Kresvold? How can we? Well, hmm, he's only your adopted father, so okay, we'll, we'll do everything without you. Psst. You promised Chain that you would be together, and I, but okay, Jove, you win, I'm in. Um, it won't let me skip it. Not saying anything else. Okay, I guess they're just gonna keep marching. Oh, they had to go over there. Halt. Listen, that Joe, he's a cool guy. He knows what he wants, not like those other wusses. I don't like him. By the way, I didn't see you there this time either. Hmm, Joe. Here, it's awesome. Do we think we can get a wig and some glue? I prefer you bald, let's continue. The next thing is the ancient lock mix. Wow, it belongs to the miller, what a twist. Well, that's a little unexpected. We also need a priest medallion, and old dig can help us with it. Dig, hmm, something else? Okay, Kresvald has an artifact, a legionary dagger. Oh, if I said where my onion rings at. Um, hi, we have a uh, alchemy recipe, preservatives. Um, got the beer on the pallets. Like, you know, it's good work. You have any questions? What's the bar? With the stars beside you, it's our reputation bar fulfills up every alcohol. Completely filling it will give you a reputation star. Reputation star, what's that mean? It's simple. We need reputation stars to hold events at the tavern. Why do we want to have events? Because it's fun. Events are the best way to entertain people and earn money. Look, one good event can bring in more revenue than a couple weeks without events. The thing is, you can sell a lot of food and alcohol at an event more about food the food needs to be suitable for the event you can sell an appropriate food too but you have to price it low and people won't buy much so how can i start an event it's easy you need to go through you need reputation stars and advertising flyers and have a little faith in yourself thank you york see ya Okay, I need faith and flyers. So I need to keep the faith on me. Did I get those sticks? I did not get those sticks. Um, there's gotta be some freaking sticks someplace. There'll be some over here. Uh. And then I'm gonna need to go see Quatho. About the priest medallion. Where's your priest medallion? I hear it away from the, from time time that spoils all oh, and makes everything older can I offer you good money money isn't tasty cakes are tasty but time time spoils them too hey I need booze I'll submerge my cake in it and then I will keep them forever who can find me some booze snakes 
Or of course I could try to make it myself. Uh, we'll go to the lighthouse. We'll get some apples. And we can make booze. I'm pretty sure we can already. interesting episode. Oh yeah, I did say that we're gonna build the tanning bench. Yeah, I wrote all this stuff down. And we're gonna use the witch's eye. Why didn't I just use that? Alcohol distiller. I already got it. We need uh, stones and complex. Chisels? Um... There's some steel parts going on here. That's where the ceramic balls are. Um... Uh... We should be done with Snake right now. Just for right now. I think I need more burgers for the Inquisitor. I really don't need this much stone on me, but it's fine. So refreshed, finally. Do you really need to say every time how refreshed you are? What are you doing here? We got a big problem. A well-known vampire hunter is headed for your graveyard. He's gonna kill me and probably burn your church too. Why is a vampire hunter after you? Since I got carried away showing off my powers over life over death. And one of my calls just turned out to be dumb and chatty. So hard to find good help these days. What are we going to do? We need to set a trap near Witch Hill on the road to the graveyard. We'll make it look like an accident. I've already set up a distraction for him at the town brothel. So we have a little time, but not much. I'll be waiting for you on Witch Hill, right? up from the road. Yeah, I still don't have no water. I keep saying, yeah, Paris, get some water, get some water, get some water. Never do. Just 
universe. Let's go in there. Alright, now we have what? I don't even remember what those parts were for before. No any conical flask. Uh so I can make this injection. Conical flask. I was today years old when I figured out what I was just doing. Glad I came down here. I need the alcohol. That's why I came down here. Can make it for dig. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, oh, I do coal or sticks. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm only gonna make it this one time. Did I not get the... Okay, what? Bottle of apple ferment, didn't I just do that? Okay. clock though and buy the stuff that I need. I don't think I have the stuff that I need. Because I'm tired of using all my blood. Thank you. 
I got the beer and the burgers. Now this should progress the story just a little bit. And then I'll start paying attention. Dark days. Dark days for humankind. Bruh. Two pieces of news. One good, one bad. First the bad news. I'm sorry to say there's a chance our king is possessed. He's been talking too much recently about humanity and human rights. I have an audience with him and he told me that it's not okay to just grab people without any evidence and burn them alive. So we need to put our little burning on pause until we bring him some evidence. Here's the good news. I know where we can get this evidence. Not long ago we were torturing, I mean interrogating a witch. She swore up and down that she was innocent, but just after her death a big ghost it looked like a chicken with red eyes appeared above her, and the ghost with a creepy voice said the reckoning is at hand and the ancient curse returns. Soon the dead will wage war. The living. Sounds like witchcraft to me, but we decided to ask someone from the university about this ancient curse. We had one of them in the next cell over. In fact, he told us that once upon once a terrible curse was laid upon the town. And it was quieted by an ancient contract. First sign of the curse return should be dark magic organs inside corpses. We'll need to gather them. A dark heart, a dark brain, a dark intestines. Find them in corpses and bring them to me as evidence of witchcraft for the king. Here are some old notes that may be helpful. So you mean to tell me I can't get my beer back? Okay, you're not a nice person for that. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna help Snake right here. Finally, did you bring your wooden plank? Why should I have brought that? Because I asked you to bring one. No, you didn't. Oh, whatever, just bring it and hurry up. Here's a wooden plank. Every great, everything is ready. You're lucky he's not here yet. Let's just wait. How long do we need to wait? Just wait a little longer. Are you sure that he's coming? We just need to be patient. No human can spend this much time in a brothel. Maybe he's not. I'm really tired and I need to eat something. Everything is at stake. Just keep calm. He's coming. Get ready. We'll only get one chance at this. Oh, I love side quests. Just in and out. <laughs> Ush. Oh my god. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, great hunter, undefeated warrior. Ha <laughs> ha. How nice of him. Now bring his medallions. We get in part of the deepest dungeon. What's next? Get rid of the body and clear the path. You mean near the dungeon entrance? I have a final task for you. We're a good team. I know I have to get to the bottom of this stupid dungeon. Oh, I might as well eat a burger. Oh crap, you were far, far away from home. Uh, take body. What do you have in you? Oh, I got a dark brain and a dark heart. Let's go. So, uh, we burn him. Or her. Pretty sure it's a him. 
I miss you, Rick. Okay, I have to go get me some more wine. <laughs> Stop pushing my wine! <laughs> Oh my god. I did not do that. God, I don't even know how I'm gonna... How am I gonna get it back over there? It's so hard to push circular objects. Ah, there we go. Pushing my dang wine, dude. Oh, I moved it too. Oh, oh. It doesn't matter. He's just gonna push it. Uh -huh. Put it over there. Yeah, he shouldn't touch it right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. I need to empty out my freaking inventory. I need to research this first. a lot. Okay. The book covers can go in here. And okay, we're going to clear these bodies. Contestants. We're going to clear the bodies. I'm actually going to leave some of these burgers down here. Gonna burn this body. I completely forgot about this thing. Okay. Big body.
have no idea if I have to go talk to him or not. So I'm just gonna go. Just in case I have to talk to him. And uh, at least I'm legally burning corpses. All I can really say about that. Okay, so now we go to the lighthouse. Actually, we go to the dead horse. I can get this crap off of me. Let's clean up in front of the dead horse. Oh, maybe this right here? Yep, okay. Now we'll go... Okay, let's tell them the village is in good shape. Announce that everything is fixed. I'll fix everything. I hope that's it. Villagers express their, express their thanks and appreciation to you, Keeper, for your timely aid. You've restored order and peace to the village, and that's worth a lot. Happy to help. I almost forgot. Trust was looking for you and asked you to visit him. Trust, is something broken in his place too? Hardly. He has some business for you. Okay. Now I go to the lighthouse. Talk to this dude. I need you to do some calculations for the mill. <gasps> You're good at calculating angles stuff, right? Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. I'm not so sure. Take the calculations. Trade. I actually need some ink from you. That's it. Um... Crap, now I need to talk to Dan. What did he want? Oh yeah, he wanted booze, so that's right. Okay, alright. Dig, I got you. I'll give you my booze. No? You still need booze. I'm ready to trade for this with the medallion. Pure. Better tra are you he gonna set it on fire? Bro, you gonna catch your hair on fire. Oh yeah, that's some good booze right there. Wee, what a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> that was really pure product. Here's a medallion. Take care. Remember, all we need is... May your cakes last forever, Dig. Okay, we got paper with calculations that we have to go give to the miller. Um, before we do that... Can we talk... To him and so okay. and with that paper with calculations so we'll go give it to him. I get so tired with the- oh, about the ancient lockpicks. Whatever you want, save it for next time. Today I'm in a fury. Okay, I just need to borrow the lockpicks you're holding. No way. The only clue. Imagine some crook has stolen the invitation. What invitation? To participate in the official comedy show in the town. Past five qualifying rounds for the competition, I paid six bribes. When did you discover that the invitation was stolen? I just returned home from the tavern and saw these lockpicks in my keyhole, and you know the rest. Listen, get my invitation back, and the lockpicks are yours. Search the territory around my home and the mill for starters. I need complex.
I already have a brain. Uh, I keep doing that. I think I already have one. Can I see the... Uh, everything has meaning. You can see the red and white skulls. I need that. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, gotta come back. I'll take care of the bodies off camera. Three hundred. Return. Let's go. Aha. Uh. I don't know what this does, but we'll try it. I think I've ever done this one. can see the skulls. Red and the white skulls. We are in business. Okay. We need a, a sleeper. Zombie juice. I have zombie juice with some health powder. Okay, is this health powder? Uh, and then we do zombie juice. Oh yeah, I said I wasn't going to turn them back into zombies, that's right. Um, take body. I'm going to need your fat, so... This is an 8. Side. And this is a seven. And okay. Ooh. 
I need a uh, stone and peace. Two hundred at the graveyard. Oh, your stupid cookie thing. Okay, uh, eat. Uh, how many candles do you have? You have twenty. I'm gonna have to take you up on that offer. I know I don't have enough candle. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have enough time to make that. Fifty. My church was already at fifty. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be the last one. I'd like to say a few words. Our church prayed. Nice. And now let us pray for this blessing and all this freaking faith that y'all just threw at me. Bow our heads. Bury the bodies. Crack the skulls. Oh lord, what is that? About 300 faith? Your donations are not welcome. God, that was a lot of faith. 33. Again, I don't need any money. Um, I do need flyers. Get these flyers done really quick. Uh, let's see. We have paper. And what else am I using scan for?
I just need to buy them from cloth though. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm glad that I can see the the skull and then the bodies. Uh God, we have so much stuff to do. I think we're gonna go to the miller first. Oh crap, we're supposed to use the witcher's eye. Crap, that's what I'll forget this. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode. I'm gonna grab the witcher's eye so I don't forget. The witcher's eye, it's in here somewhere. I'm gonna end it here. Um, thanks for watching. Everybody in the next episode.